Wolverine. Cool guy. Everybody's favorite, Wolverine. Favorite X-Man. Look, I've been going over your file, and I've made the decision to fire you because you are worthless. What? You're worthless and you're fired. Fired? Let's add listening to your already impressive list of skills. I'll put it right next to um, made of metal, the substance that the guy we fight the most can manipulate with his mind. But I've got these. Yes, very impressive. Also made of metal, but I guess handy for all those fights where you can get right next to the person you need to attack. This is your power. That's it, you flail. I'm pretty important to this team, bub. Okay, let's say Magneto is on one side of a bridge and he's killing a lot of people, like a lot. And we arrive on the other side of the bridge. I'm gonna run at him. I'm gonna run at Magneto. I'm very fast. Okay, even if you're very fast, still gonna take you quite a while. A couple minutes, that's what. Three dozen people dead, or storm, fly over two seconds, suck him into a hurricane. Into a goddamn hurricane. Problem solved. I, I have a motorcycle, maybe I'd ride that. What is a motorcycle made of? Tubes. I'm sorry, you say tubes? Glass and tubes. I can really feel you picturing a motorcycle and trying. It's made of med, med, Metal. 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 It's made of metal. It's made of metal, which magnet can twist and bend and throw you off the bridge, and now you're f***ing dead. I'm very useful to the team. I guess, when you're not off somewhere having harrowing visions of your origin. Oh, where did I come from? Where did I come from, though? No, no you're not hearing me. No one gives a hot sh But where did I come from? Get a journal, Logan. You're gonna have to find gainful employment somewhere else. But what will I do? Where do I go? I don't really give a shit. If I had my way, you and Beast would be over at the airport sniffing bags for the TSA. It's one of your things, isn't it? I can smell really far. That does not help us. You do not help us. I have a motorcycle. You're not all here, are you? I'm not all there. Are you just saying back to me what I am saying? Did you just repeat what I said? Well, sh sh mm. Wolverine, I'm gonna write you a prescription um, for an antipsychotic that I'd like you to take. I have a motorcycle. You're fired. I'd kill you with my mind, but it doesn't feel right. I feel like I'd be putting down a special needs member of the cast of Footloose. Huh? Gonna go fight some nerds? Hey, Wolverine, you wanna see my claws? Bub, f you. Professor X, you wanted to see me. Jean Grey, I've been wondering, have you as a fellow psychic ever perchance glanced into my mind? No, Professor, that would be a violation of trust. I completely agree. However, what if I were to extend to you an invitation to peek inside, just so you could bear witness to the knowledge I've amassed over the years as the world's greatest psychic? Really, you'd let me do that? For you, Jean, anything. That would be an honor, sir. Proceed. Oh my god! What the hell was that? I shouldn't have to explain it to you, but obviously I'd like to give you a good boning. Oh my god, is this what you brought me in here for? Was to hit on me? No, 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 never. I invited you in here simply to let you know that you're a very important member of the X-Men. Thank you. And to invite you to see a very important X-Men's member. What? Mine. No, I know what you meant. You're a teacher here. Students look up to oh, you. Oh, you, I'm a teacher. Good, let's go with that. Let's role play. You oh, are a student and you're failing. Young lady, if you want this F to be an A, you need to let me F you in your A. How about you F off? You know I have a boyfriend. Yes, a Cyclops, the Ray-Ban wearing tool. You know we're very much in love. Oh, are you? Because I've seen you many times in the halls with Wolverine. It's complicated. Oh, thanks for reading part of your Facebook page. Look, I get it. You're into Wolverine. He's a big, hairy dick. If you're into big, hairy dicks, I can certainly oblige. The carpet does not match the drapes. 
It is shag down there. Oh, a shag carpet because no one's wanted it since the 70s? It's full and vivacious. Look, I'm clearly the safest choice in this entire mansion. Cyclops, his glasses fall off while you're doing it. You're toast. Wolverine, he prematurely shoots out his blades, cuts you up, mauls you. What then? I'm done hearing this. You're ready to act. Great. No, I... I love you, Professor X. I want you to take me right here, right now. How dare you! Don't you ever control me with your mind again. I can control lots of you with my mind. Like, think of me as a giant psychic vibrator. Well, you are being a huge dildo, Professor X. Please, call me Professor Sex. Ew. Or Professor Triple X, whatever you prefer. Remember when they rated pornos? It's never gonna happen. Oh, come on, Gene. Have you ever had sex with a guy in a wheelchair? I can pop a wheelie, a boner, and a cherry all at once. Okay, you've convinced me. Really? I, yes, great, fantastic. Why don't you take a peek into my mind for a second? Yes, ma'am. Oh, f you! It was dicks! And they were touching, it was like the unrated magic mic! You see the one where the foreskin was over the one without the foreskin? Oh my God, I believe they call that docking, and yes, I saw it. Holy God! Ah, get it out of my brain! I'm sorry, Jean Grey. I am a crass, obnoxious asshole. Please accept my apology. Oh, thank you, Professor X. I still want to bone you. I didn't make you say that. Doesn't make it any less true. You know what, Professor? I quit the X-Men. Wait, no. Jean, I've crossed the line again and again. I don't know what to say for myself, but I apologize. Really? I, I can't express that any more earnestly. I am sorry. Okay. Your hair looks great. Is that okay from one friend to another? Yeah, that's, that's an okay compliment. You know how Rogue has that white streak in her hair. Have you ever wanted one of those? Because I have a product that's 100% organic. Come back when you're Phoenix. You won't be the only thing that's rising. <laughs> My, she gets it. Professor, what is this I hear about you downsizing the X-Men? Do you shower with those on? What? Do you shower with your sunglasses on? The, the, the laser beam controlling sunglasses, do you shower with them on? Of course I do, otherwise I would. Of course you do. Obviously, I don't, otherwise, I would, if you don't, don't you'd be uncontrollably shooting laser beams that kill everyone instantly, just willy-nilly from your eyeballs? No, I would never. So, let me ask you, what basically is protecting me and everyone here from certain death? Um, well, I'm, I'm careful. You're careful. You don't ever let loose with a corona? Maybe you wanna whip them off? Did they even have some sort of chain on the back so if they did fall off, you could find them quickly? No, that would <laughs> not look cool. Oh. Why'd that orphanage get leveled? Scott didn't want to look like a door. But I am the leader of the X-Men. Oh, the leader, yeah, so great. What, are you gonna lead us to the hospital after you winked at Rogue and took off her torso? That's not gonna happen. Toasted. Okay. What about sex? Excuse me? What about during sex? You ever, I don't know, get tempted to see a beige that isn't red tinted? You just whip them off in a fit of frenzy and then prematurely shoot Red beams all over Jean Grey. Okay, leave her out of this, please. No more Jean Grey. Just a pile of ashes that's, that's also gray. Double gray. Goodbye, my love. Okay, Professor, I do have- The moment you were born, we should have cut your head off. You were a message from God that he doesn't love us, and we should have sent it back. Sign, seal, deliver, return to sender. Except if you were in heaven, it would be hell. What, what are you gonna do without me? Probably cry myself to sleep every night with tears that don't harm anyone. Okay. You know what, I, I normally look people in the eye when I fire them, but in this case, seeing as that would kill me and everyone about a mile behind me, I'll say to your Ray-Bans, get the f out of my house, you f***ing nerd. Thanks. Nerd. Nice sunglasses, by the way. You look like you're on your way to a bachelor party at a Hooters. Do you drive a Honda motorbike, or is that just your face? So, Gambit, you throw stuff. Yeah, I tap into the energy of an object and I turn it into kinetic energy. And then you throw it. Yeah, I throw it. I throw it really hard.
Yes, um, I'm just gonna keep it then as throws stuff, which is what I had. Gambit, my question then is, um, what happens if you run out of stuff? Ah, but there's always stuff to throw. There's always stuff. Yeah, and I got, uh, I got my playing cards. Right, you're... Great to have you on the team. That was tough because, you know, this is a new deck and they're all... A little slick. You know, you know, so yeah. it's good to work them in a little bit, throw them a bunch. Yeah, I understand. What if you run out of cards? Ah, but you know, Professor, it doesn't have to be the playing card. It can be any type of... Oh, oh, you could throw a business card? Yeah, yeah. You could do maybe an Uno? Yeah, Uno is easy. Could you throw a Magic the Gathering card? Yeah, it's quite fitting. Baseball? Sure, any sport. What about a greeting card? Yeah, it's a little thick, but, you know, I can... No, you could, cool! Yeah. No, no, f***ing no. Without cards, you're garbage. I can throw other things, you know, like in, in my pocket I have some change. You know, uh -huh. because I had a, a gyro. Earlier I had a lunch. Oh, so if we were attacked by sentinels at lunch, perhaps you could have thrown the gyro. Uh, yeah, yeah, you can throw a gyro, but it's tough because the meat's fluffy. Scatters the meat. I'm sorry, are you f I you're still messing with me, aren't you? Indubitably. Are you hearing, as we're speaking, how incredibly lame you are? So, you're fired. No. Yes, I am firing you because without stuff, you are worthless. What if we're attacked? And we're not inside of a 99 cent store. Mm -hmm. Or in the paper plate aisle of a Target. But or perhaps at some knick-knack flea market in New Hampshire. Hmm? What then? I got the backup, you know, because I got the staff. You remember me with the staff? That oh, I didn't look in the file. You have a staff. You train underneath a waterfall with the staff. Da 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 da. Hmm? I train. I'm training all the staff. Great. If the X-Men ever have a parade, we'll put you right at the top. When you hold that staff, you look like the world's biggest blade fan. Do you understand? You look like you brought it to lean on as you wait in line overnight for the new Twilight. Book, not movie. What are those gloves? Go fingerless or go fingered. Those are the choices. None of this f***ing cats is coming back to Broadway bullshit. Here's some fingerless for you. Suck on it. Okay. I'm gonna go. You know, it's, it's not goodbye, Gambies. If we're ever attacked while we're all playing inside of a ball pit, I will call you. Really? You will? No. Now, would you throw yourself out? I could melt you with my mind. Iceman. Yes. Man of ice. I'm sorry, is something wrong, Professor? I'm just trying to figure out what are your powers again? Professor, I, I, I make ice. Oh, I know. It's laughable. But how, okay. I'm just trying to figure out what I can do with a man whose weakness is room temperature. Okay, right, but Professor, the ice that I make is... what, is... cold? Uh-oh, look out, they didn't bring layers. Good thing Ice Man is here. Go inside! Get an electric blanket and a hot water bottle. I'd, I'd like to point out I've been a, a very valuable hey. part of this team. Hey, Ice Man, what's your weakness? Salt? That thing that's everywhere? Kitchens, restaurants, that's your kryptonite. Salt? Kryptonite? Right, Marvel. No, no, do you understand that I, I spontaneously... Listen, if I'm ever on a lazy Norland's porch and it's really balmy and my iced tea starts to get a little, little tepid, I'll call you. You're on speed dial as the bitch who can make my drink a little better. Hey, I'm a hero. Right, named Iceman. That's really creative. He makes ice, call him Iceman. Why not just call Wolverine Claws Man or Cyclops Laser Beams Shooting Out of His Face Man? Did you name yourself? Yeah. Good job. Look, Iceman, if I wanted a useless bald guy standing around the fight not doing anything, I'd, I'd hire Seal. At least he could serenade the battle. I just think that you're not... <laughs> I've been a part of this team. If you look at the experience that I've brought to the team over the past. My power, my power, my pain. I think there's a bigger picture here than just me. Baby! To me, you're like a romantic generator also now. There was a nice way to do this. Did you know that when I snow, my eyes become alive and the light that you shine can be seen? You're fired. Fire, which would kill you.
It's gonna be in my head for about a month, but it was worth it. Magneto, thank you for agreeing to meet with me. Well, I don't think we'll ever agree on anything, Charles, but I'm always happy to sit as friends. What did you want to see me about? Well, um, how to put it? You're fired. What? This isn't um, working for me. You're not my boss. You cannot fire me. And yet I just did. I just can't have such a lame arch enemy. I'm just so tired of hearing you whine about mutants are the future. Mutants are the future. Look at this one. He's got webbed toes. Shouldn't he be president? You're beginning to try my patience, Charles. Oh, right. Your lame powers. Look out, everyone. Magneto is attacking us with rudimentary science. You should fear me, Charles. Oh, I do. I don't stand a chance against you in a third grade science fair. You're dumb. You're the mutant equivalent of a baking soda volcano. You're dumb. Piping hot comeback, Magnet Man. Well, what's so cool about you anyway? Ah, uh, my unprecedented psychic ability. Oh, right. I forgot you're a psychic. What's your 900 number again? Clever. Almost as clever as your name, Magneto. I mean, I use the power of my mind. Should I be Mindo? Yes, but one thing you may not have noticed is Nito is in there, like Nito. People like that. You're telling me that people like that the word Nito is hidden in your name? Yes, of course. Anyway, it's better than your name. Professor X? Yeah, it's a job followed by a letter. Oh, behold my power, I'm children's dentist. N. If I were a children's dentist named Ned, I would go by that. You're bald also. Oh, you, you want to make fun of heads wearing that helmet? This helmet is ingenious. It prevents you from reading my thoughts. And does the cape do that as well? Or do you just like looking like a live action role playing nerd? Well, would you prefer that I wear a men's warehouse style suit? You look like a college basketball coach standing on the sidelines. Or in your case, sitting. Oh, ring the bell. Somebody made a wheelchair joke. Boom! You think I need to be in this chair? I can levitate a goddamn aircraft carrier with the power of my mind. I could certainly float myself up like you do, but I don't feel the need to advertise my powers like a desperate for attention magnetic David Blaine. You look like a giant bald baby. You look like a teenage girl's tube of lip balm. You look like Mr. Clean at a job interview. You look like a tool that tells us the gender of a fetus. You look like a white Steve Harvey. Ouch. Burn. You're quite gifted with words, Max. <laughs> yeah. Is that how you managed to recruit such a impressive brotherhood of mutants? Good group. What do you got, a toad and a fat guy? Do you want to talk about teams? Let's talk about teams. You have a guy whose skeleton is made of metal. The one thing that I control. Oh, I, I fired Wolverine's ass. He's worthless. Oh, for real? Yes, I, he's a piece of garbage and I tossed him. Well, then we finally agree on something. You know who you should fire? Who's that? Your stylist. You look like a Trojan warrior who's real into Madonna. Oh, okay, I see how it is. If you're psychic, what am I thinking now? Oh, I have that power as well. Nice metal watch. I have another hand. As do I. Telekinesis beats magnets. Touche, Charles. Suck it, Max. Eat a dick, Charles. Charles, we're being silly. Old habits. Indeed. Shall we discuss peace? The fate of the world is at stake. I agree. I hope you accept my apology. Of course, old friend. One of our gifted youngsters drew that. Thought it would be nice to show it off. You f***ing refrigerator. Jubilee, yeah. you project pyrotechnic energy plasmoids, like little fireworks. Yeah, I... Uh... Yeah, you're fired. 
What? It's a pleasure to fire you. You know, I did it. Fireworks. Goodbye. But they're called plasmoids. They're called fireworks. And just because you make them doesn't make them something else. You realize that I'm trying to put together a team of superheroes, not coordinate the finale of Nine Inch Nails at Lollapalooza, right? Well, I'm well aware. <laughs> I mean, maybe if Mr. Sinister is robbing a bank while tripping on MDMA, maybe you could distract him. I'm sure you'd be good at that. But I think I... I br maybe if Magneto is beating up hippies at Burning Man, I'll give you a call. Oh, I know. You can fly to Ibiza next time Skrillex is spinning for the hippie flipping rich kids. It's a perfect match. He's over here. <laughs> You're over here. I'm tripping balls, bro. If you'd like to make a call, keep it funky. Good times. I can't believe you're firing me. Actually, could you fire yourself? It would be the first thing you've ever done for the X-Men. You look like the creepiest pervert's real doll, special order. You look like Hello Kitty's best friend, Goodbye Kitty. Goodbye Kitty. Could you look back just for one second, please? Yeah, you can't hear a finger. Nightcrawler, I'm afraid I'm going to have to let you go. What? Why? For what reason? Well, to put it simply, I find you very gross. Gross? Explain. Just look at you. I mean, you look like you're perpetually wet. I assure you, Professor, I'm not wet. You look moist, is what I'm saying. In fact, you look like the personification of the word moist. I am if not. If a summer camp child said the word moist three times in the mirror, you would appear behind them. I don't understand. You look like infected gums. You look like you piss ink. Wait, that is highly offensive. You kind of look like 1980s Michael Jackson just got back from a filthy clamming expedition. I'll have you know. Ugh, God, those gross hands. It's like shaking a foot. One time you gave me a back rub. It felt like a pterodactyl had perched on my shoulders. It was gross and I was more tense at the end of it. Professor, you established this mansion as a haven for the mutants. Was this all an elaborate trap to lure us in and then insult us? A little bit. Well then, please by all means continue. Great. When you teleport, it smells very bad. It smells like a fat kid running around in the summer, ate like about 35 deviled eggs, and then took a hot shit in a warm pool. Yes, yeah. It smells like someone turned on a crock pot and filled it with Campbell's clam chowder and about three rolls of dirty pennies. Okay, I get it. I, I, I understand. I, I, I just have one more. Yeah. Your teleportation fumes smell like Angela Lansbury, an older woman, dressed up in all leather, slept in a sleeping bag in a room with no windows or doors in August, and then had diarrhea from too much Sizzler Buffet. That's what it smells like. I mean, to a T. Good day, Professor. Oh, God. It smells like the Predator's dreadlocks. It smells like Mario Batali's body cast. Or my aunt's purse filled with blue-green algae. Man, I, I wish he had heard those. Storm. I don't know if you've heard, but I am scaling back the X-Men a little bit. I mean, um, don't tell the others, but your powers. Fantastic. Controlling the weather, it's really something. Thank you, Xavier. I will only use my gifts to aid those in need. Well, yes, always help those in need when you can. That is what I said. Speaking of that, mm -hmm. do you remember um, last Saturday? I decided to play golf, you know, with my mind. And I did tell you that I was going golfing and once we got there, 45 minute drive, it did um, start to rain and it um, ruined our day a bit. Okay. This Saturday, I'm also going golfing and the forecast says rain and I don't know if anybody, perhaps in the room, could help 
maneuver around such a predicament. Are you asking me to change the weather so you can recreate? No, no. I'm just saying if I'm not golfing on Saturday, I will have a lot more free time to see if you deserve to remain in the group. I cannot believe that you are blackmailing me. Yes, maybe I'm blackmailing you a little bit. If you're not going to help me golf, then what are you good for? Fighting evil? You know what's evil is a wasted Saturday at a country club with a six-month waiting list. Do you understand how many strings I have to pull to get a game? If I lose to Scott again, I'm probably going to kill everyone, just everyone, with my mind. And do you want that? Fine. I'll make it clear on Saturday. And Sunday. And Sunday. Sunday I'm going to the park. And there's a very loyal family of small, small ducklings that has become quite engaged with me. Ducklings? I think they're beginning to accept me as one of their own. Also, it hasn't yet been cold enough at night to use my new hot tub. It also hasn't been quite hot enough during the day to use my slip and slide. Also, I'm going to New England if we're not busy this week. I'd love to see the leaves change. I know it's summer, but could you drastically change the ecosystem that I might watch them die? I quit. You, you can't quit, you're fired. Fine. Enjoy your weekend. It looks like rain. Tornado! Bunch of bullsh... Scott. Yes, we can't golf this Saturday. That is not a forfeit, really. What about now? Oh, perfect. Perfect. Telekinesis for the win. <clears throat> well, Rogue, um... This is never easy, but, um... I'm shit-canning you. What, sugar? And as a happy byproduct of your termination, we do lose that annoying southern charm. You're firing me because of my accent. Oh, yeah, you wish. Insurance is through the roof, and having an unintentional energy vampire just going around touching shit, it's not gonna work for the next quarter. Look, I've been a good friend of this team. Yeah, too good on many occasions. How many times do I have to send someone to the infirmary just because you couldn't resist a kiss? I can't have people dying just because you're lonely. You can't touch people. Stop it. If I couldn't touch people, I'd wear oven mitts and a t-shirt that says, death upon touching. You wear like sexy boots and strut around. It's not my fault. Oh, there's something I can't remember about what I'm supposed to do and not do. So why don't you come over here under the willow tree and give me a big wet kiss on my honey, honey lips. Mm, whoops, you're dead. Right, that's it. How do I keep forgetting that? I mean, I, I wish I could control my powers. Yes, and I wish I could walk. Is, is wish time? How long does this go? Are we done with the Aladdin just found the genie moment? Because wishes don't come true. Unless the wish was to get your ass out of here. In which case, it's Christmas. If you do see hair dye man, go ahead, take the glove off and touch him and let him die. Because I'm tired of the whole Bride of Frankenstein thing. High five. JK, it would kill me. Don't worry though, I'm sure you can get work. Being a Bonnie Raitt lookalike at a shoe store opening in a mall. I can kill you with my mind! <laughs> hmm. Angel. What is it? It's just I'm going over your file here and there seems to be something missing. I, I mean, what, what, what are your powers again? I fly. Yeah, yeah I know you fly, but what else? Uh, that's it. <laughs> 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 well, you're fired. <laughs> my bones are hollow. It enables me to soar great distances. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I should have let you go. I'd love to hear your retort. I mean, do you have any idea how many of the X-Men fly and do something else incredible? <laughs> you just fly. And it's not even like an internal power, or like something you focus. It's, you literally have giant wings. You're a bird. Flapping your wings as hard as you can to lift your stupid abs in the air. They're angel wings. I'm looking right at them. Those are bird wings just huge and on a man. 
I'm surprised you haven't choked on one of those plastic ring thingies. <laughs> oh, maybe if I peck at this. Ah, 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 Greenpeace, help. But you need me. <laughs> I do not need a bird, bird. <laughs> but I do have a question. Do you prefer your seed loose or in a bell shape? Not a bird. Or is it a pine cone with, with peanut butter and then you stick the seed to it? I'm not a bird! Bold words for a man with huge bird wings and <laughs> hollow bones. <laughs> you f bird. Hey, look, I'm giving a bird the bird. I got it. <laughs> Would you do me one small favor, bird? When you get your worthless ass out of my office, would you resist the urge to shit on my car? I just hate it when your people shit on my car. Oh, wait, let me fire you in your native tongue. Chip, chip, chip! Bird. Say, maybe you don't want seed, but perhaps I could interest you in some pasta salad. No, I don't... What if I regurgitate it for you? You know, like bird style. What? Oh, oh, that is... Here, bird. Here, this will help you fly. You bird. Hey, angel, put on a shirt. This is a school for gifted youngsters, not a Victoria's Secret model runway, you bird! Bird! Gonna miss that bird. <laughs>